Hi, so today I want to talk a little bit about life extension technologies and uh, uh, psychology and philosophy surrounding, you know, immortality and uh, wanting to live forever and connected with, you know, transhumanism and our future soon with artificial general intelligence and, you know, the possibility of being mind, uh, having the possibility to upload our minds into a computer in a way that wouldn't just create a copy, uh, but would actually be a direct continuation of consciousness. After all, you know, some people would care about uh, creating copies of themselves. Similarly, how people care about, you know, having children and, you know, having some part of them go on into the world, uh, even after they are gone. Uh, I forever, I however, am a selfish person in the way that I am more interested in how can I directly uh, experience more and live more. And, and I suspect many of you feel the same way. Uh, that would be the most important thing. What a tragedy it would be if we would have some mind uploading technologies. Well, that's a deep philosophical question. Would it be a tragedy? But I would see it as a tragedy. If every time someone, once we have the technology, every time someone creates a mind upload, uh, actually what happens is that they die, the original them dies, and an identical copy is made. And then how will anyone know or tell the difference? Uh, you can't. Maybe there is a way with super advanced technology, once we understand consciousness and have sort of uh, laws of physics, but for consciousness, uh, once we have that, then we could determine for sure, uh, you know, what uh, what the mechanics and dynamics of that are. But so far, uh, I I wouldn't be happy with with just a normal mind upload. So. Anyway, uh, even if we don't get to that, and that is a really high technology somewhere in the future, not certain when it will uh, come, uh, but, but even until then, uh, we will have many anti-aging technologies that can enhance uh, our bodies uh, and our minds. Uh, there are ways to do it biologically with gene editing, by, you know, bio biotechnology, enhancing ourselves biologically. Even now, when DeepMind announced uh, that uh, pretty much we have solved the protein folding problem, proteins, one of the most important things in our bodies, the building blocks of everything inside us. Once we learn uh, how to, how to pre-program them into do whatever we want, uh, that is most realistically what actual nanomachines and nanobots will be like. They will be biological agents, at least the ones that will work inside our bodies. Uh, outside the world, it could also be the case, but outside the world, we would probably, depending on application needed, we would probably need something more sturdy. Uh, although biologically, bi biology can also be really sturdy and adaptable and strong uh, in many more ways than just simple uh, dead matter, but nanomachines wouldn't be dead matter, they would be quite uh, alive and intelligent if we built them that way. So one way would be biologically, of course. Another way is technologically. Uh, we have many new technologies to replace entire organs in our bodies, and those technologies are only getting better and better. Um, you know, all kinds of enhancements, and I suspect before we reach the time of artificial general intelligence, Pretty much I count the time when we reach artificial general intelligence as the time when no human being has to work uh, and work on research anymore. So then all of the sciences and exploration will be taken over by AGI, uh, who will develop, you know, all of the needed technologies for whatever future we desire, uh, if it's a beneficially uh, aligned intelligence. And, and that is... a. Uh, that is a question as well that is not something obvious or certain that the AGIs we, we will create uh, will be beneficial for us. But depends, depends, depends on so many different things as in life. It's never black or white. Um, but about, about some of the psychology, I think it's a really human thing, really human nature to sort of, for most people who are not familiar with the topic, to say some things like, you know, I would never want to live forever or, you know, live for very long lengths of time, you know, they think there's a reason why we get older and uh, we should accept that. And I think that's a really similar thinking. It's a coping mechanism. Like, undoubtedly, it's nothing more than a coping mechanism. Uh, 
So, you know, before we had better medicine, we had children dying, and then we had excuses that, you know, God had a better plan for them in heaven, or, or you know, it's all parts of God's plan, or something like that. We always excuses, justifications, because, you know, the reality sometimes is such a horrible truth for a human mind to comprehend that it's easier to believe in some things that make reality sort of smaller, and, you know, more friendly to human nature when you know in truth we live in a vast indifferent universe cosmos might not be if consciousness is something fundamental and we find out some beautiful truth uh, that you know all of the universe is one and all consciousness is one but anyway so these kind of justifications or, or people saying that if they could live for you know uh Forever, you know, I don't mean literally infinite amounts of time because, you know, it probably wouldn't be physically possible and, you know, and no one would keep you alive against your will. You know, we're talking about the future where it would be your choice if you want to die or not. And, you know, I would make a really simple claim. If you don't want to die today and you don't want to die tomorrow, then what makes you think that there will come a day, some weird day, when you will be, ah, I'm done with life. Uh, I don't see that. And, and same way as people say that death gives meaning to life. That is the stupidest thing that I could imagine saying. It's like all absence of beauty and experience makes somehow meaning or beauty. That makes no sense at all that nothingness, non-existence, the absence of anything good gives life meaning or is a good thing in any way? Is, is it like a death threat? You know, someone threatening you that like, oh, if you don't live a good life, like you will go into nothingness. I don't, I don't, I don't get that psychology. I try to, and you know, always it's, it's, it's necessary to understand these topics. It's necessary to keep an open mind and to always be willing to, uh, look at both sides in issues where there are both sides you know some issues we could basically universally agree upon but some issues we cannot universally agree upon so okay let's try to understand you know I get that it works for some people that the finiteness of life that they know that they have some number, number of days left that somehow that gives them motivation you know, I guess for me, you know, my brain works differently. I can comprehend that if we, you know, compress that timeline. And let's say that, you know, I'm, a, I'm on some beautiful island in a resort and I got all kinds of things that I can do. And I know that I only have a week left to be in there. So I get that. I get that if I only have a week left on this beautiful island, then I will do whatever I want to do, you know, even more than, you know, if I knew I had a month, maybe. Uh, I still would do all the things, so I don't know even if that argument works, but I kind of understand it, you know, if you know that only you have so limited amount left, you know, that somehow gives you motivation uh, to live more. But what do we live for? Do we not live for positive, beautiful experiences? Why would you want an end to that? You know, if you're 80 years old, an old, wise man, smart man, what tragedy and stupidity it would be to end that life. Why? When it could go on another 100 years and generate wonderful new thoughts. You know, when, when people have that wisdom and knowledge and experience, you know, in a, in a perfect case where there is such a person and they're not bitter and, you know, whatever. Uh, but, but if they have, you know, good mentality and stuff like that, and, and even further, like we could enhance their minds to be even sharper and clear and focused like they were when they were 20 or 30 years old, uh, you know, what those minds could do and accomplish beyond further in our world. Um, so I, I think life is good. I think living is good. I think experience is good. I think there's so many things to experience in our universe that is 14 billion years old on even our small planet, which is actually a huge planet. So many places to see, so many things to see. There's so many movies I haven't watched. There's so many books I haven't read. There's so much beautiful music I haven't listened to. And there's so many amazing people that I have not yet met. And I want to do all of those things. And if you gave me a chance to live another thousand years, I would take it in a moment. You know, I'm relatively young, so I'm not worried about death. Uh, I don't know if I would if I was older. Another reason I'm not worried about death is because really soon we will have 
unless something goes horribly wrong we will have artificial general intelligence and that already within 5 10 15 years will will fundamentally change our lives and bring these technologies to the table um so death does not give meaning to life and you know some people would say that oh but i would get bored how can you imagine even that how could you imagine that being bored living a longer time is that what the human condition is that you live for some time and then you do some stuff and then at some point you imagine that you would be so bored that you want to die um that is just hilarious to me like i can imagine that picture but that would be from some comedy movie not from real life of course i know definitely i'm sure it's a big world so there will be people who will feel like that but the majority of people like you know i think death is the opposite of everything that we appreciate and want and we are at such an exciting time more more exciting time than any other time in human history we have before us so many possibilities and opportunities for expanding our minds and expanding a civilization and connecting and making up with each other in the stupid monkey era of you know still being aggressive and territorial and whatever but we will get over it really soon and quickly and we might have technologies that will bring us so much more um, good in the world you know uh it's just incomprehensible to me but all of these things come from ignorance you know these people who say that they wouldn't want to live forever you know forever um you know if they would know and understand the situation if they would truly think more uh, i think they would agree i think i think the more we are able to connect the more we are able to agree upon things you know such as you know once we create artificial general intelligence and you know if it's able to begin to make changes in the world then it has to be things that everyone wants and what we want is less suffering less death you know people to have homes people to have food people do not have to waste their life and potential on toiling for some corporations or just in a slave farm somewhere farming cocoa people who have never even eaten chocolate in their entire lives even though they farm it every day it's a fucking absurd world we live in you know an end to that would be a good thing and you know even if not every single human being on the earth agrees upon that i say fuck those people who say that that is not the truth you know the truth is we need to reduce suffering and increase the well-being of all conscious creatures as much as we can and we live in this amazing time where you know our technology is advancing and we are at this point where we are taking off um this is within the next few decades and we will fundamentally change how the world operates and how it works and it's it's just so exciting i cannot overstate it so why would you want to die you would only want to die if you can't see that coming and most people can't because no one talks about it it's not in the news uh but it will be and it will be in people's daily lives and it will just be shoved in front of their faces all the new technologies all the new opportunities so death does not give meaning to life it is life that gives meaning to life life is good if we can make it as good as possible and reduce suffering then more life is good uh already we see you know uh, some people say you know overpopulation already we see birth rates declining uh and we will stabilize somewhere around you know 10 billion was it or 12 billion even that is sustainable absolutely sustainable with the new technologies we are, we are developing and we will not go any more beyond that in fact the changes can happen even sooner so we will be somewhere at like 10 billion or something like that that is easily easily manageable with these new technologies that we are developing you know and it's easy to be pessimistic and you know at sometimes i'm also in that group you know when i just when i'm alone and when i reflect on like capitalism and this system that is so messed up and produces so much wealth inequality and so much harm and pointless suffering just because some some handfuls of people could be wealthier than anyone could be in in uh, in a million lifetimes uh, it's just absurd and makes me depressed and you know i would be really worried if 
you know, someone like Jeff Bezos would have control of artificial general intelligence. Then again, I wouldn't. I've made some other videos on it that, you know, if there is a true general intelligent agent uh, and if it's somehow made to be aligned with human values, you know, then it will pursue those values and, and respect and appreciate those values. It, it would have integrity more than any human being of course that is my dream you know this is this is what i would like to be true of course it depends so much on the architecture of how it's built and of course there is a billion different ways how humanity's future can go on due to the butterfly effect and chaos effect um, we could all be gone in a nuclear winter uh, next week uh, I truly hope that that does not happen and I don't think it will happen I think we are better than that and uh, in front of us is a vast beautiful future and i i hope i made some sense at least you know in, into what my thoughts here are um I, I think this is kind of thing when you really sit down and think about it for a little bit you know it's not complicated life is good death is bad you know i guess people maybe can be so different that for some people it truly is a motivation but why do you need some motivation like that it's like you know having some bully or whatever saying to you that you know have a good time or like next month i will beat you up i will beat you so bad that you need to go to the hospital in emergency or whatever you know do you do you like that feeling that threat you know because that's not voluntary you know if if death did not exist for me i think it's the opposite effect it would be a gigantic relief of tension and worry i'd be like okay we have time so you know we could take it easy and there's nothing wrong with taking it easy for however long you need you know eventually when we develop agi we will have technology anyway to help our minds to you know deal with depressions and anxieties and all of that stuff you know to make us whole to make us healthy and that alone would transform humanity so deeply because i believe almost every single human being has mental health issues you know, you can fight me on that or whatever, but I think almost every human being has some mental issue, some derangement, some ailment, some issue, something wrong with their head. You know, uh, because this is such a dysfunctional, broken system, it's a miracle if everyone comes out, if anyone comes out like totally fine and healthy. There are people like that, but I would say the vast majority is not okay uh, but at least if you are self-aware enough to you know admit and appreciate these things in ourselves then i think that's a start and way we can move further to the future there is reason to be hopeful and optimistic about our future um really exciting times we live in if you keep up with any of the advancements in ai uh you know thank you so much for any thoughts and thank you for watching if you if <laughs> If you have any thoughts, please share them in the comments. And of course, thank you so much for watching and take care.